Don't worry. I know what we're going to talk about today. Okay. We're going to talk about today. Uh, 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 oh, 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 American Horror Story 1984. Oh, yeah. Serial Killers. Let's just American talk. Horror Story 1984. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm embarrassed. Oh, my God. It was the funniest article I've ever read in my entire life. I watched a couple of compilation videos on YouTube. I've got it all figured out. You're listening to the No Big Banana Podcast. Is that that it's show? Newer, it's the newest season of American Horror Story. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the, the No Big Banana, Banana Podcast. <laughs> My name is Charles. My name is Justin. My name's Cody. So, um, American Horror Story 1984 is so good. I liked most of them. It's a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. yeah. And I am biased because I love 80s horror. Yeah. But that's but Dude, I like The Cabin in the Woods. That it's was a fucking so dope good. movie. Don't throw me off track. I'm going to as much as possible. Bro, American Horror Story, and uh, the reason that I thought of it, other than just finishing it, is because Cody and I were watching Mindhunter today. I'm not surprised. This is like and, the third uh, time I've heard about Mindhunter today. Yeah, well, it's the first time that the listeners have. No, it's probably the second. So, no, I don't yeah, think so. I don't think so. we've ever talked about it. Not well, to my recollection. Cool. If I don't remember it, it didn't happen. 1984 yep. was a good movie, too. It's pretty convenient. And a good book. It's mm-hmm. a good book. George I Orwell. never saw a movie. Uh, Animal Farm book. was good too. I preferred Animal Farm. It's talking Animal Farm. Yeah. The boy George Orwell. Eh. Meh. Meh. Don't like Orwell. I mean. <laughs> I mean, really? What has he really gotten right? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Just kidding. I, uh. The answer is fucking everything. Yeah, it's pretty prophetic, which is strange. I recently got Hulu again. <gasps> oh, look at you. Yeah. How's that going? It's good. I um. Who is Did good? Watch that little Dicky show. I have not yet. Oh. I like. Okay. I I like. Mm. I don't want to watch it. I, like I have the- I have a I have a love hate relationship with Mr. Dicky because like at first it was like I really like your music and then his like professional rapper album came out and I was like who are you even talking to at this yeah. point like who are you rapping for? Yeah, it's like real Rob. Oh, who, you mean like Rob? Who is uh, this for? Yeah, yeah, like yes. the yeah, exactly. It's who is this for? Syndrome. Exactly. Yeah, and I feel the same way. I'm so I, glad that I knew what you were talking about. Oh, dude! Because like there was a second where I was like, oh God, he's looking at me, and I don't know. <laughs> I feel that same way with Rob, uh, Rob Schneider. Is who is this for? Is a carrot. Yeah. <laughs> Rob Schneider. Is. Rob Schneider is a 13 year old boy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that is what it's like. And like yeah. when he, when I saw him coming out with Dave. It I was, was like, I don't get it. It I was even it. more of like, who the fuck is watching this? Yeah. I just don't, I, I just don't get it. Like, and, and don't get me wrong. He's a talented rapper and shit, but mm-hmm. like, it's very evident, especially now that like, he, he didn't was have direction. No, no, it wasn't that. It, it was that it was very evident that this entire thing has just been a build up to him trying to start a career in like television or yeah. in comedy. That he was right. only using hip hop as a launching pad, and then he didn't yeah. expect it to get anywhere. Right, and then lost sight, and then was like, "Okay, no, I've got to re redirect course and actually mm-hmm. do what I was trying to do." Which is fine. Yeah, it's but totally I think cool. that there's a level of awareness when you look at a song like "Professional Rapper." Yeah, and it's like you seem pretty like I'm a rapper, and I feel like I'm pretty self aware. Yeah, and I do really enjoy rapping, but. My life isn't about rapping. Yeah, it's like not even your profession. even when I do like boast rap, it's very seldom about. And I'll probably regret this because I'm sure there's something that's oh, out course. there. It's but the internet, baby. It's seldom that I remember bars that are like about how my goals are to excel in the hip hop game. Yeah, that's not really what I'm about. And no. and here's the other thing about Dave. Nobody gave a fuck about Dave. Before you were a little dicky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So why the fuck would anybody... And no disrespect. No. But it's like... He's a funny dude. Why would anybody give a shit about Dave? But I mean, like, did you hear Earth? His yes. track that he dropped for Earth Day? Like, yes. what the fuck even was that? It was very weird. I, was I ain't very listening weird. through ten, 10 minutes of pillow talking. Yeah. I'm just not going to do it. Here's the thing. He's just an entertainer. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, and and coming up through hip-hop like he did is it was unique. It's mm-hmm. strange. And not many 
people have really done that. It's going to be strange. Usually to in hip hop, you stick to hip hop. Yeah. yeah, or if it's like it's comedic music, you kind of stick to comedic music. But it got right. to a weird point where it was like he didn't really try to make it comedic anymore. Mm-hmm. Right. But he still had like comedic tendencies to it. Yes. Like the brain EP was just shit. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I, I just kind of stopped listening to him. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll love to him. He's a, he's an insanely talented dude. Mm. He also got a lot of flack for working with Chris Brown, which, to be he fair, should. Chris Brown to be is, fair. A pretty, is a pretty yeah. piece of shit person. Yeah, dude, I just don't understand. Like, you didn't need that. You didn't need to do that. No. It's the same with Joyner Lucas. It's like, Joyner, you are so goddamn talented. Yeah. What are you doing with that piece of shit? Like... Yeah. I'm I'm sure like you don't care as much as like other people but like god damn it dude, you are so that bank account remix was fucking awesome. Yeah. We it's weird. I don't know. It's a weird thing too, like when it, it all comes back to that idea of like separating the artist from the art. Yeah. Separating the person from True. the art. Yeah, that's what I watch the show for. I don't really watch it as like Yeah, you're the only one here that's seen Dave. How is yeah, it? I like it. Because I'm like I said, I'm not watching it. Like yeah, we're just shitting on it. We've never even seen <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but, that's like, right. You've seen it. Yeah, but like I don't watch it because I care about like his story or anything like right. that. It's just funny to see a white Jewish rapper gr- come up in like this industry where he does not belong. Whatsoever. So that's kind of what the point. That's of the, the show. entire show so okay. far, at least. Okay, well that's the different. first two episodes. That's okay. It's really, it's really, really funny. But it feels like a very, very fast forwarded eight mile, right? Yeah, Ooh, but it's more that's, it's more that's of a, a really clean. Yeah, that's a really good cuz I mean, it's a lot he's more only clean. been on the scene for like 6 years. Oh, yeah. Jesus, yeah. I think it was like it, it ain't like he's been hustling. No, it, it was like 2013 really, he came out. Cuz I remember seeing it on Reddit and I was like, "Yo, stay it in. This is awesome." Yeah. yeah. And so far like he hasn't really made the show about him per se. Like it Is it kind of like a character yeah, version it's of more, himself? Okay. Yeah. I'm not I sure can, how I can accurate deal with it is. Honestly, it's probably not I just at don't all. give a shit. Yeah, it's probably but not like at all, his though. girlfriend is hilarious and like their issues that they have are just hilarious and I don't think that like a person that went through those issues would deem these things hilarious. So gotcha. if it did happen to him, he's making a good light out of it. But yeah. it just seems like a good script. You could have thrown anybody into the show and called it anything that you want, and I think it's it would like, have caught. You, yeah, honestly. it's like the new Joker movie. You could have just thrown anybody in there, and yeah. it would have been the same. There's a lot of that going yeah. on these days, man. Yeah. I gotta tell you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it lacks identity. I guess mm. is what it is. But it's but it doesn't. Still, I don't mind like. Yeah, exactly. I don't mind like just like stupid fun though. Like uh, yeah, and that's what I'm it watching is. this one anime. Um, oh boy! Yeah. The, the, oh, and look at you were in a drought last week, and look at you now. Well, no, it's one of like the three that I'm watching. Riding right the waves. <clears throat> well, it's it's there's like this weird like because it's between like um, winter and spring anime time, so there's really like nothing slated to come out. It's like dropping a movie at the beginning of January. It's like right. nothing happens. Video game season. Um, how we get nothing over the summer. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the same process there. But um, one of them, and I think that they've tried to change the title to it because it's just the worst. Um, it's called I Hate Being in Pain, so I think I'll make a full defense build. And it's just fun. It is just a lot of fun. I like stupid. that. Oh, dude, it's so dumb. Like, It's like a virtual reality MMORPG, which already gets me in because I'm like, hell yeah. Um, but she's never played any before. She makes herself the name Maple, and she decides to just put everything into defense. Like, literally every single stat point. So it breaks the game, because <laughs> nobody does that in an right. MMO. So she, like, literally can't run in this world, because she has zero <laughs> agility. So yeah. she has to, like, just kind of stumble around, but um, she ends up just getting, like, stupid. Like, just stupid. Like, and it's getting to the point where they're just, like, kind of throwing all of these different things at her, and it's just, like, adding on more insane, like, just stupider and stupider and stupider like she could turn into a demon at this point like she's got like an wow. angel version yeah she's got a turtle that she named syrup who is <laughs> best character ever oh is this on hula it is yeah oh fuck, dude, dude. It, there's like four or five episodes so far but it's hilariously fun yeah I'm gonna it's have just to terrible jump on that train it's I terrible think. but it's so much fun um, i love obnoxious shit like that what is it called i say the name of the show again i hate being in pain so i'll make a full defense build when we were in our uh or our rock band or whatever screamo emo band it was it was screamo emo at the time oh gotcha yeah like those long we went through transitions and one of the uh, there was a song that i called (laughs) we called it capone for short 
The title of the song was Bugsy Moran may have gotten Tori out, but he won't get me. And I've got friends that'll make sure it stays that way. Yeah. That would have stuck around in yeah, 2007, right. 2008. Sounds yeah, about right. It's yeah. probably fine. Oh, yeah. You can name your band that. Fuck, dude, like Modest stuck. Mouse, like every <laughs> Modest Mouse album has to have the title of something that's just like excessively long. Mm-hmm. It's like, just fucking pick one word. So you know what else is on Hulu? What? Since you're talking about anime and since you just got Hulu back. American Horror Story. Yeah, I'm, I'm done to watch it. I'm done to so watch it. I like it's most immaculate. of It's immaculate. It's so good. It's so good. I can't I tell will you. say I wasn't really a big fan of the... It, w- it was like the sixth season or whatever. Roanoke was dog shit. No, it wasn't just Roanoke. Roanoke or whatever, whatever the fuck. Um, I didn't really like the, the hotel one. I, I don't like Hotel, Hotel, but that's because... I wasn't a really big fan of it. I didn't really care. I'm not a big vampire fan. I have a crush on Lady Gaga, so that's I fair. enjoyed it. But I also didn't like the one with like the clowns and shit. Like the Freak Show. Like no, Freak no, show. the Freak Show was good. I'm, I'm talking about the one where it's like really like heavily political. Like, Cult. Like, Cult. Oh my God, Donald Trump is president. We're yeah. all going to die. Yeah. yeah. That one I was like, come on. So, I like two. That's my favorite. That, Asylum. I, uh, Asylum was solid. Asylum, Asylum yeah. was yeah. freaky. So, Same with season one. Season one, Murder House. House? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's my favorite, actually. I, I watched Murder House when it came Anytime out. Anytime I can see Spock in like a yeah. relationship, I'm about it. Yeah. I watched Murder House when it came out when it wasn't named Murder House. It was just named American, American Horror, Horror Story. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't picked up for a first season or for a second season. It was just its first. Mm-hmm. So when it ran, it did well, and I loved it. So they made two, and two was fucking amazing. Oh, it yeah. was so I good. Two. And then Coven I mean, is like, there are I parts of Coven like that I like. I will agree with that. There, there are also there are parts moments. that I don't like. Yeah. And then I really enjoyed Freak Show. Freak Show was good too. Um, I liked Hotel just because I appreciate the idea of like ghosts being trapped to stuff. The aesthetic was good. Mm. And um, what's that, that? What's that boy's name? He's he he. By the way, is the, the one guy that's in that, every single one of them that I would allow. He's not in uh, 1984. Um, yeah, Tate. In his name's Evan Peters. Evan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only person that I would uh, sign off on uh, playing Alex DeLarge in a Clockwork Orange remake. Oh, because he looks like him. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought he you were gonna looks... say that like he could get it. <laughs> oh, and I was like, maybe. <laughs> well, I feel that way about Mark Rebier. Hey, like he can. Get it. <laughs> but Evan Peters looks like Malcolm McDowell did when he did If. So, yeah, he could play Alex. But That'd more more importantly, like... Do you want them to remake? His performance in Hotel was really good. God, no. Okay. I was about to say, I was it's like... It's just so mm, timeless. Horror Story should do a Clockwork Horn story. That would be You cool. probably could. Mm-hmm. You absolutely could just set it in know, that time. man. The, 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 it doesn't have to be Alex and his droogs. Like it can just be like I mean, set in that clock the era. Is hardcore. It's pretty bad. It, yeah. I mean, in this it's pretty hard in this climate. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna fly. No. Any any of the that because old what, violence because what you'll be doing is if you if if <laughs> if the fucking snowflakes thought Joker was bad. Yeah, you don't want to see. Clock go Clark. watch yeah. a little film called A Clockwork Orange. <laughs> yeah. Because God, that movie is so good, though. It is really mm. incredible, and the, but yeah, just, like even like the moments where like it, it still breaks my heart when they they use uh, Beethoven over the well, the of film. course, because it's like don't don't take that from him like that like you didn't have to do that. Oh my mm-hmm. God, are you sympathizing with a yes. rapist? Yes, yes. <laughs> All he had was that. Like it's just it breaks my heart when he like breaks down afterwards and is like I can't even listen to to my music. Yeah, and then he's almost immediately rewarded with the opportunity to be fed by the prime minister. Yeah, I, dude, I don't know. <laughs> I just I, like that that whole like whatever. I'm sympathetic to main characters. I'm sorry. Well, that's part of the problem with a movie like that, or a show like that, or a book like that, right? Mm-hmm. That's the point Is of that it. We're built to sympathize with the main character, yeah. mm-hmm. whether they're the protagonist or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I um. I don't know. It's it's weird. I I do really enjoy. I don't know. Like I, I see it far too little where they're willing to make like the main character either a piece of shit or like kill off said main character. It's mm-hmm. like you get you get props in my book if at the end of the movie like the main character dies in the right. process. Like yeah, but also don't just do it to do it. Right. No. It yeah. has to. It has like, to be if a good actually, execution. Like, Willing, like I forget. I think it was like um, one of the ones where like they didn't kill him off, but I was like applauded the choice towards the end was um, in the movie Moon. 
I haven't seen that. You haven't seen, seen that? that? Oh, it's great. It's um, and this is not going to ruin it for you because this happens in like the first five seconds of the movie. But like, the the idea is that we are um, mining the moon for helium three as mm-hmm. a fuel source. So there's one person that gets sent out to the moon every like five years, and they stay on the moon alone for five years, just harvesting this. They just go and pick up the stuff and take it back and send it back to the Earth. Um, he accidentally finds the previous iteration of himself because he's a clone. So they've just been cloning this dude and he just wakes up for like five years. So he figures it out like maybe like a week or so before he goes home and it just shit hits the fan. Like shit hits the fan. Yeah. It's got, um, I forget who it is, but there's a guy that voices the robot in it. That's awesome. I was going to say that, that what that role that you just described sounds perfect for Michael Fassbender. Yeah. I was about to say that too. He, uh, I was going to say, please say it's Michael Fassbender. It has the music by the guy that did, um, Requiem for a Dream. Did the same soundtrack for it. So it's got that same like haunting, like, and I feel like it's somebody that I should know who played the, the fucking droid that, that is always talking to him. Hang on. It's going to be somebody crazy like Al Pacino. <laughs> the no, Rock. No, no, no. That's it. it Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> what if it was The Rock? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm I, down for rock. killing main characters. One of the reasons, obviously, I have a lot of respect for... Uh, Kevin Spacey. He plays oh. the robot. Even more, more rapists. Yeah. Yeah. More rapists. Oh, my so God. Sympathizing with more rapists. Not only more rapists, but Child Kevin Spacey rapist. is a way fucking bigger name than The Rock when it comes to cinema. I forgot. So it's even worse than I thought. Yeah. You're like, uh, like we suggest The Rock, and you're like, you guys are crazy. No. Oh, it was Kevin Spacey. Yeah, yeah. Who's that director? Uh, Steven Spielberg. Yeah, That's yeah. it. That's his name. Um, well, but I need do. to see that movie then. It's great. Yeah, that sounds it's good. Really good. I'm into the idea of killing main characters. That's why I like George R. R. Martin. Mm-hmm. And here's I, the thing. I'm, I'm going to blow your mind. Never read Game of Thrones. Never watched Game of Thrones. It's not surprising. Don't give a fuck. Well, that's Game okay. Yeah. It's real, you're not really missing that much. No. It's just another fandom. Yeah. It's... Did you watch it? it? Yeah, I just didn't watch okay. the last man, season. Like, you didn't watch the last season? Okay. Here's the thing, man. I, I don't like... If you got a like, if you've got to pad shit up with like fan service to tell your story, not telling a good story. Like if I wanted to watch a, a high fantasy series, I'd watch Lord of the Rings. If I wanted to watch porn, I'd go watch porn. I don't want to watch both at the same time. Well, yeah, you're not wrong about that. It yeah. is kind of egregious, but also it's the same it's, with like High School of the Dead. Like, but it, that's a more of an HBO problem than yeah. a Game of Thrones problem. Yeah, there's a lot of it, dude. Like High I mean, School HBO, of the Dead. It, try watching High School of the Dead. You will notice within 30 seconds. I was like, all right, I'm done. And I watched Food Wars, bro. And I watched this, and I was like, this is trash. I think yeah. HBO more than any other platform takes advantage of its private platform. Oh, of course. In terms yeah. of what it does. So, I mean, you see that with anything that HBO ever did. Just like egregious sex and violence, but the the curb your enthusiasm. I just feel like, it, 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 like I'm clean. not I'm not curb opposed so to it good. if it's if it's if if it enhances the plot or uh, if it helps with the storyline or it helps with the I overall. Mean, that's kind of how it is with a lot of it in Game of Thrones. But like it's just, just like every five minutes, is I'm like, lot. oh look, there's yeah. more titties. It's it like, is a that's lot. That's not what I'm yeah. here for. I'm not here for the titties. I'm right. here for dragons and shit. Well, here's the thing. Um, and and like basically for your benefit, like there's this the girl da- Daenerys, in the show Danny, mm-hmm. she's like Khaleesi. You follow her from the beginning when she's just like in the book she's 14 at the beginning, but they change stuff for the show. Yeah. But anyway, she's pretty much like, she's pretty much that bitch for mm-hmm. the show. Like, and everybody loves Khaleesi. Oh yeah. And then in the last season, I, I want to say, ep- was it episode five? I didn't watch it. You didn't season. watch it. I think it was episode five. Where the Starbucks cup is Danny in just, well, <laughs> yeah. that, that's a whole other story. I, yeah. we, I made a list in my head one time. Me and, me and the guy that uh, did my, my wife. No. the guy that, the sound engineer that did my first album, he and I wrote it down and find, found out that at a minimum, nine people should have caught that. Mm. Uh, starting with Script Soup all the way through the editing, like, that should have been caught. But Danny Starting just, with you, Amelia Clark. Yeah. Burns, <laughs> Get the fuck on it. <laughs> she burns down the entirety of King's Landing, just slaughtering innocent people. Yeah, she got that and, Targaryen blood, yo. Right, but here's I the thing know. is that they didn't build it up enough. 
the ending now, of that. A real quick fix to that would have been for them to kill Tyrion. Yeah. Because there was a point where Tyrion reached where I would later find out after watching the rest of the series, we didn't need him anymore. Mm-hmm. He didn't really do a whole mu- a lot of anything after the fact. It would have been a perfect opportunity for them to kill Tyrion because that for me would have given me more closure on the fact that like, oh, no wonder Danny lost her mind. Mm-hmm. They killed Tyrion. Yeah. But they made it Masande. And it's yeah. like, yeah, I know, right? She isn't going to go that bananas over Masande. Oh, yeah. No. Masande? Fuck out of here. I don't know. I think it was just, I think that they were checked out, ready I think to go do the like, Star Wars movie. I think it's like cumulative of, it's kind of cool that she did it just because, like, you know, the Mad King and all that stuff. Like, it was seen from like 10 miles away. This is weird hearing this from like a guy that has not seen yeah, any I know. of it or heard <laughs> any of it. I don't give a fuck, man. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, There's it's a lot. disappointing. There's oh, a big, I know. Well, the thing is, is like I tried reading yeah. the books. Yeah. And it's like after you get through and you realize like, that every chapter is a different main character, I was like, fuck oh, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck it's hard this. to keep track of. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, not any uh, not any harder to keep track of than Tolkien. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. And his characters. Yeah, yeah but Tolkien's not great. And George R. R. Martin oh, is a puss. You just say that because you're you, you're a I'm fellow J.R.R. Jake. Yeah, dude. Jake. Yo, no, J-K-R- that's not. Okay, K-R- whatever, dude. J.F.K.R. Okay. K-R- Foster. Whatever. Fuck J-F-K-R- that. Fuck that noise. Fuck that noise. Fuck that bell. Everybody. Fuck that bell. Go and do the things that you're supposed to do, please. I take that. And that would be follow us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at NoBigBanana. Also, if you want to send us stuff. Like advice or questions. Or I'm triggered, bro. Compliments. I'm fucking triggered. <laughs> you can send them to nubigbanana at gmail.com. Take that back. That's where that it's not nice. Go. And that is where we're going to read it. That's bullshit. What did I say that was not nice? You, you were saying that I only like J.R.R. Tolkien because my name also has three first initials. Yeah. That's totally reasonable. Well, it could be G.R.R. Martin. You know what my writing name it's is? George R.R. R. Martin. I know, that's, that's what I'm saying. What that like, is. Y'all are fucking crazy. No, I'm agreeing with you by that okay. logic. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck this.